in this lecture we will be understanding the basics of kafka and for that we'll be creating a spring boot project assuming that it is a weather forecast application and reading data from different devices installed at different location first we will run a zookeeper then kafka after that we will create the spring boot project which will be reading data from different devices and sending into the kafka pipeline after that i will create another project and read those data assuming that it's either a mobile tab or some user's data and in that the data is being read for basics of kafka i have already created this lecture you can go and check it out link is in the description so these are the steps let's go and see how the things are made so i have already installed kafka you can check out the video which i have shown and which are in the description now the zookeeper is here in this bin folder of windows and also kafka server is there so we will be running these two the configs of these are here in the config folder this zookeeper dot properties and server dot properties so now in this kafka folder let me create cmd and run the zookeeper first so i will simply go to the bin folder then windows and then zookeeper start so after that go to the zookeeper server start dot bat file config will be used from the config folder and that will be the zookeeper dot properties after that this zookeeper will start this is our first step second step is to start the kafka for starting the kafka again go to the same folder of kafka inside that again go to the bin folder then windows and in this windows we have the kafka you can see server start dot bat file is there then again the config folder for server dot properties and this will start my kafka always run zookeeper first because that takes care of kafka now these two are already started and we'll go and create a spring boot application so for these two already started you can check out the details and can do certain operations using console only for now let's go to the project i will go to the spring starter project you can either download it through website or you can go to your whatever id you are using for now let's name it to temperature updater and let the name of this project will be temperature updater here also so this will update the temperature for different devices to read in and provide data in the kafka pipeline here i am putting web and apache kafka as a dependencies and dev tools to load things at run time i will not have to restart every time so now my project has been created if you see the project nothing in the progress i am going to the project and will go to the main project and here this is the main file spring application dot run that is spring boot application i will create first thing is to create the configuration for that i will create config file and that too will be in the config folder so i will create this file inside this configuration will be there and i will create a bin here for this kafka and i'll provide the public and the bin will be for the new topic and topic which will be created in this kafka will be read through different devices and new topic and after this i'll create through builder pattern that is topic builder which is provided in the spring boot framework dot name and name i'll provide the name of the topic which i will be creating so this is the weather is the name of the topic and i'll go and create build so this is how this bin of the topic will be created and as of now you can find more details of partitions and replicas are there if you are going to go on a granular level of partitions and replicas you can provide the details here but as of now let's assume that we are going with the topic only so for that your default book will be number of partitions and here will be the replication factor so as of now we are removing this replication and this partition from our config so this is the topic which i have created in the config folder now since our configuration is ready let's see how we can create 
service file. So for a service, let's create another class file. Go to the new and create class file. I will name it as weather service. And this weather service will be inside the folder service. So I'll create the service class and click on finish. Inside this, I will annotate with at the rate service because it's a service class. Inside this, I will auto wire Kafka and provide the logger. So for that, first provide the logger, private static, final logger. And this logger will be of from the logger factory dot get logger. And again, I'll provide the class name of with the service dot class. So our logger is created. Now let's auto wire the Kafka template. So this is auto wired private Kafka template. And this key will be the name of the string. And this will be the value which will be provided in that particular template. So this Kafka template is now auto wired. Now I'll create my service method. So let's name the method as public and this will return whether the data has been sent or not. And so Boolean and the name will be send temperature. So this will be reading data, assuming that these data are being read from different devices, which are installed at different locations and are being fed in this Kafka pipeline and will be read from other devices. So this will send the data in that particular topic, which we have created and this will be available in the pipeline of Kafka. So if you see, I'll create a config class in not a config, but constant class in the constant. I'll provide the name of the topic. So I'll name it as weather constants and let the name provided to be provided here will be the topic of weather. So I'll use this name of topic from weather constants and I'll be using it everywhere. So I will name it as weather constants and dot topic. And the same will be used in the service class. So first key will be the name of the topic. So weather constants and the constant will be the topic. The message I'll be sending will be the temperature at that particular moment. So let the message will be temperature and it will be giving me certain real time temperature data of maximum let it be 50 degrees. So I'll put the random function in which I'll provide till maximum 50 and I'll round it to nearest 50 number. So nearest digit instead of decimal and return true that this temperature has been sent in the Kafka pipeline. So I will write here data sent successfully. So our service layer is ready. Now comes the next part after this weather service is the controller from where we will be sending the details every time. So I will create weather controller and it will be inside the controller package and I'll name it as rest template and it will be the rest controller. So first thing will be to auto wire and second thing will be to get mapping. So let's assume that we are going with the get mapping of update temperature and this update temperature will be the URL of my get mapping and I will return response entity in which I will provide the string data that update has been done successfully somewhat like these strings will be provided in the response entity. I'll name this method as update temperature and this will be done through auto wire which I initially said. So auto wired private this weather service which I have created this will be auto wired here. So this weather service will have the send temperature method that will be called from here. So I'll provide and change this package to controller. Let me change into the controller package. Now I'll auto wire the weather service. So 
weather service will be called here and through this weather service i will be calling the method of send temperature after this has been done i will simply return the response entity that new response entity and this will be returning the string value along with the http status code so let the string value will be temperature updated and the status code will be http status dot ok so that is 200 so this is how this controller is created and the ul is update temperature so if you see these are the packages which has been provided here and this is the main file this is the controller that is the weather controller which we've just created inside this we are calling this send temperature service and in this same temperature we are reading assuming that we are reading data from different devices and sending in the kafka template through this topic that this temperature at this particular point is this and after that we are simply logging that data sent successfully and these are being sent through this topic builder that is this topic now let's see the resources part inside this resources part we need to have these that is the kafka port and the string serializer of key and value of that particular kafka so now let's run as spring boot application so this is the console of my spring boot application let me minimize the other parts and you can see this has started at port number 8089 so till now everything is fine let's go and use this particular url which we have created to send data for that i'll simply copy the data and first of all like these two zookeeper and kafka which i have created i will create a listener or i would say a consumer to this kafka console consumer to just verify whether whatever i am sending is coming in the kafka pipeline or not for that this is the command which we need to go the topic quick start and then the bootstrap part so again i'll go to the windows kafka and then we'll go console consumer bat file then the topic name the topic name is weather we have created so weather will be the topic name and then the other parts which are there if you see in this particular command from beginning bootstrap server then the localhost then the port number of my kafka so this i created and started so now the when i'll hit through the postman the data will be coming here in this pipeline so let me copy the url that is update temperature let me copy this and go to the postman again the console to see in the data being sent in the real time i'll click on send we need to change it to get method now again send see the temperature is coming but it is coming as a large number so let me change through service layer and round it to maximum temperature of 50 degrees so i'll go to the service layer in this let me change this to this one now it will be rounded to maximum 50 degrees and not more than that so as you can see it is coming maximum 32 31 44 41 maximum till that so everything is fine till now now these are the data which are being sent to kafka pipeline but we should have certain places where we will be reading out those details for that we should have kafka listener but as of now let me provide it here only so that you will see how the kafka listener works so in real time this should be a different device but just to demonstrate it i am writing out here only that kafka listener then it will be the topic name from which it should listen so it will be weather constants dot topic which we have already created it is nothing but the topic name topic name is weather here and this will be the group so different group of people can listen to that particular topic as of now let's assume that this is the temperature one group 
so all those people which are having temperature one will listen to this so i will provide the public void because it will just listen so that's why void only get temperature and inside this i will be providing the data through that particular kafka listener and i will simply printing this data without any logger just as this out system dot out dot print ln and inside this data will be printed so again let me restart this application let me expand the console so that we can see the real time data being sent in these console parts and as you can see our application started so see as you can see temperature is coming in both the places in the console also of this kafka whether it is showing that kafka is being data is being sent in the pipeline and also in our application so whenever i am sending any data it is going at both the places four has gone there again let me send it few times one has gone there 37 gone there to 19 17 in this way all the data which are being sent in that particular kafka stream are being read out to kafka listener so the truth is we have created an application and we have seen how the real time data can be read out so thank you all for watching my video i'll send creating few more details video of the kafka thank you all